to the supporter who bought me the garland. Thank you. <laughs> My friends, my fellow Singaporeans, you've probably heard us say this many times in the past week. Something is not right with our country. Yes. Yes. Very wrong. We Singaporeans are usually a passive lot. Other than football, we have no strong opinions on other things. <laughs> They say that with regards to politics, we don't even care. Is that true? No! Singaporeans, I ask you, is that true? No! no. I see thousands of you here with us tonight. And in the past week, you stood for three hours in the heat, in the rain, because you wanted to listen and because you wanted to be heard. Yeah! You've come to us to seek alternative solutions, to see for yourself how the opposition has grown, and to see for yourself if among us there will be future leaders you want to be your voice. Yes! At the NSP, we have spent the last few weeks telling you our plans on housing, growing your wages, on solving our population problems, and more importantly, what our vision for a better Singapore is. They ask us, they ask you, how will these plans turn out? And to that I say, Singaporeans, if you want to see change happening in your lifetime, be the first one to lay the foundation for your children and for your grandchildren. Yeah! Those who want to see a better Singapore, let us stop talking about cars and drivers. We want to move forward in ways that we have never done before, to soar to new achievements. And that is only possible with co-pilots and with a strong opposition. Like I said before, we cannot promise you upgrading, but we can promise you that we will be accessible leaders. We will be there to be with you when you need us. We will listen to you and most importantly, we will fight tooth and nail for your welfare. Why are we doing this? Because we are one of you. We live with you. We know the problems that you face. I have a story to share during my rounds in McPherson today. It is something that greatly affected me and I will share with you. I was talking to a lady from a low income family. She has a smart kid but that kid needs tuition. She cannot afford tuition. So she asked the RC for help. On top of the $80 that she needs to pay every month, they told her to pay an extra deposit of $80. She couldn't afford it. Neither could the other families. So they petitioned. They went to ask for help. And do you know what they said to them? They call me strong! They said to these poor families, it's only $80.
It's not like we are asking you for ten thousand dollars. This is the kind of problem that we have. And it is time that we have a government that has a heart for Singaporeans. Now, in the past week, the PAP said that they have learned their lesson. For the first time in their history, they said sorry. But have they really learned anything? No! I think not as well. For even as the Prime Minister was apologising to the people for his government's mistakes, his ministers were still politicking. As PM Lee was saying sorry, Minister Lim Hui Hua was accusing No Tia Kiang of running his ward badly. Where do they get the nerve to accuse Lo Tia Kiang of mismanaging Hao Kang when Holland Bukit Tima, under Dr. Vivian Balakrishnan, managed to lose $8 million? Where do they find the goal to demand to see his accounts when he refused to tell us the cost price of a HDB flat or the size of our national reserves? Our money! How much of it was gambled away on exotic financial products? How can they demand accountability with a straight face when they won't even show the YOG statement of account? And now, when the jobs are finally on the line, they want to apologize? You call this an apology? My fellow Singaporeans, do you want to take that first bold step towards change? Yes! Or do you want business as usual on the 8th of May? No! Will you take that first step today? so that in five years' time, we will have an even bigger voice than today. Yeah! 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 And he replied in a simple, unassuming way. If I am not willing to do it, how can I expect other people to step forward? Yeah. All of us at NSP, whether it's Workers' Party or the Singapore Democratic Party or other parties, we have been working long hours, long thankless hours. Because we know 
that the general elections 2011 is not just a watershed. No, it is the beginning of a new chapter in the Singapore story. We are a generation that was brought up to believe that we can do anything we set our minds to. We do not want to live in fear or allow ourselves to be led by those who would keep us fearful because fear is ultimately what cripples the nation and destroys us as a people. The PAP says now that they are not perfect, that they are sorry, that they want another chance. My friends, we have given them chances again and again and again. In every election, in the last 52 years, we have returned them to office with a strong mandate. We have given them our trust. But I say, enough is enough. Yeah! The PAP needs to be reminded that they do not rule with the mandate of heaven, but with the consent of the people. A vote for the NSP is not about checks and balances. It is about taking a step towards the next phase of nation building. To build a future that comes in more colours than white. Yeah. How can we have that future? Well, voting for the opposition on the 7th of May is a start. But does that mean that our problems will magically disappear by the 8th of May? No, my friends, change begins with the small things. It may be painful, but it will come to those who want it. To those who have the courage to seek it by trying something different. To those who work very hard for it. If you elect the NSP, we will work very hard for you. In a few months since we began all of this, we have already, through our hard work, gotten a PAP that has never in its history apologized for anything to say it is sorry. How much more do you think we can do for you in Parliament over the next five years? My friends, this is our home. This is our future. Don't give up on it. Every time I feel like giving up, there is something that I look back to. A pledge that I used to recite in school every day. And I hope that as I say it now, you will join me as a reminder of what we have always hoped and wanted for our country. We, we the citizens of Singapore, Thank you.